Hello and welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town's playthrough of It Came From The Internet, the second anniversary for this game, and it is part two. This one's going to be a bit interesting because it's not going to be a little bit more meme heavy, but there are going to be some interesting facts. I'm going to probably have some hard time with the memes with this, uh, this type. I will try my best. I have one in particular that's going to be set for next week. Um, point of view, I think. Well, we'll, we'll see, but namely it's because the uh, two characters we're going to be looking at, namely one of them for sure, um, they are actually based off of a movie, and this part I'm going to make you guess what it is, because the next part I'm going to basically reveal to you what I think they're based off of. I know I think they're based off of, but that's neither here or there. What I'll give you is that it's based off of a 90s movie, and it has something to do with computers, so... That might give you some hints, but regardless of that, let's dive in and talk about this updates, this parts, uh, quest line. We're going to be taking a look a little bit more in depth with the, a little bit of the, uh, main quest line, but we're also going to be taking a look at the first part, which is Spider's Birth, which has Rachel in it. Rachel is our first, um, character that we get that is premium, meaning that you'll be able to get it for free. So, it's a nice bit, and yeah, unlike the other two characters we got last time, this one is a bit animated, so we have at least something for that. But yeah, we're gonna get a quick look into this stuff here, and uh, dive right in. So, as you expect, we start the game off, and uh, purchase has been done. I've gotten myself this uh, game developer's pack. And it comes with Mark, who is also one of the uh, unique characters, but I'll talk about him in part three. Oh yeah, and there's the game dev pack. Again, advertising for the pack itself. Um, what's interesting about this whole thing is I haven't heard much controversy with these two characters per se, unlike Andy. If, of course, they well deserve, by the way. Especially with these two, but it's kind of weird because I think how April handled things is kind of came out of left field and people were just bamboozled by it but with this update people kind of expected what was coming so they kind of just like oh well we'll accept it so it will be interesting to see what might come later on but for now we got these two characters popped down we're gonna put some of the decorations down here to get ourselves some of the uh Items, so we got a tree, we got a lamp, and then the next one's gonna be the server. And then that should put us at how much percent? Ah, 55, not bad. Alright, let's take our first look at the first character, the one we'll be focusing on, Rachel, and there she is. She looks kinda familiar, doesn't she? I won't say what she's based off of, but um, yeah, you'll get to find out in the, the next uh, video part. But our second character, the one that's unique is Mark. Here he is. There he goes. All right. So now we got that going. So uh, this is Mark. He and her are both slow for some reason. I think he's even slower. And I'm just going to be waiting on them until they turn around and show their face. So we need to get a good look at them. And oh, yeah. Oh, he kind of did, but he didn't. So let's just have her. Yeah, there she goes. There she is. Look at that. That's not a bad character to have for free, so hopefully he gets a turn. Yep, there he is. Look at that guy. There he is. Alright, so now we got a good look at them, so now we're going to take a look at this. So the books are unlocked once you get Rachel. You do need, and like I said with the crafting, you do need both of these characters, so you need to get the pack with Mark as well as Dr. Brownstein. Seems like Dr. Brownstein is a bit more um, useful in this one. Um, well, you'll like with if the crafting, but yeah, this is the story that's going around. So one is Rachel, this one's going to be more Mark, and this one's going to be Dr. Brownstein. So if you want, you have to get both of them, and then you get the spider fountain, which is the in the promenade area. So it's a, not a bad design for a... Like, compared to the one we got um, last book, it's a bit decent not the greatest but you know it's it's kind of cool looking it kind of matches with the theme with what's going on with this uh update but uh yeah we've gotten the mayor so we're gonna click on her to do this again and we're gonna dive right in but uh before we do that we're also gonna be taking a look a bit of the first quest to mark's um one however we're gonna look more into mark when it comes to after rachel's quest so let's just see what mark's about after fall. Mark's a code guy. It's all zeros and ones for him. 
He has a particular taste for horror games, so he should have a good time hanging around with us. Luckily for him, he ended up living in this town where horror isn't just fantasy. Expansional student with remarkable understanding of artificial intelligence. Oh, thanks, doctor. That sets my joy bowl true. What? The doc is kinda into you. Busy? Alright, place the creepy phone book in the uh, booth, sorry, and then have him do a phone call. But, um, yeah, that's kind of a weird grammar issue, but don't worry, it's, it's gonna get worse, and I'm gonna tell you why that is, and, uh, but, you know, I, I won't spoil it, I think it's in part three that basically exposed itself, but here... Spider's birth. Rachel's an artist and horror movie fan. She's always got a weird attraction to spiders. Oh, there was the spiders again. Their webs, shapes, and colors. So captivating. Teaming up with Mark the Great Spider had created a huge hype among the neighbors in town. I still can't believe that Dr. B shaped up this cool plaza for us to hang in. Even letting me run the VHS shop while we launch Spider next week. Yeah, it's weird. He's even shaping up the plaza to promote our game. It's almost surreal. Almost like he has a second thing in plan going on, but we're gonna obtain some red pills, some red floppies, and have her do an artist's uh, ritual. I think that's artistic ritual. I don't know what that implies. But yeah, Rachel, um, I kind of helped a bit with the idea with Rachel's character. So the idea with these two is that they are uh, coders. So one, Mark is being more of the programmer, while Rachel is more of the artist behind the game. And then Dr. Brownstein is the, well, we'll get to more of him in the last part. We do get to see a little bit of him, and you get a little bit of his character, but yeah, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. But uh, something I mentioned, I think, in part one is um, a lot of people might look at it and go like he's kind of based on Doc Brown or even a bit of Rick uh, Sanchez from Rick and Morty, especially with one particular animation, which I'll joke on, but... Um, no, he's actually, his, I think his design is based on something else. I won't go into that until part four, the last one. But um, what I will tell you is that the first part here may give you a hint with his accent. Good day. With the blessings from Mayor Johnson, I hereby announce the town's new plaza has opened. I hope this beauty pleases everybody, and hope it will help the promenade get back to its reputation. By the VHS shop, y'all ankle biters can snag a copy of the latest video game my star pupils, Rachel and Mark, has made during their courses in my classes. They'll even make a pre-release beta test open for public on the internet cafe shop right next door. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. You're indeed the man behind all of her creativity. Bron, we love you back. You've been the greatest teacher. Oi there, he must be down under as is. Ozzy, eh? Mmm. Okay, Rach. We're on our final stretch towards our game release. We need to focus. What's your status? Yeah, I have a couple things to note down that I want to check. How about you? Well, the build is pretty stable and will surely make hell of a beta test. I do need to check the AI engine and construct some behaviors. Missed opportunity to have him say hella instead of hell of a, uh, you know, 90 slang. Did I hear viral? Wouldn't you love to hear that word spread on our game? Yeah, just like what happened with the Blair Rich project. Oh, dear Rachel, we like that very much. I do, and it will. This game is legit. Alright, so place the retro supplies, obtain some computer chips, and obtain some blank cassettes. Uh, what's interesting about the retro supplies is that it has a lot of references to actual real-life devices. One of them, I think, is a retro, um, a, a normal Nintendo entertainment system for Japan's version. If you take a quick look into it, maybe I'll zoom in and show you a bit of that. Oh, yeah, and then Mark's uh, thing is now active here, but I don't get to, I don't think we're going to show it just yet, but we will show it in this part. 
Um, yeah, there's a reason why Mark is only here, and I'll explain more about these two characters later on and what I think is going on later on in the playthrough. Uh, one thing I will address is that you may have noticed me doing a black and white on those certain frames. So, normally, you'll know when I'm not in character uh, by because of my voice changes shift, but some of the characters, namely more of the younger adult teenagers, I tend to just have my normal voice, kind of. Um, yeah, to differentiate from the character talking from me, I decided to black and white it so you know that I'm talking out of the character. And that makes sense, so it only affect characters that are not obvious that I'm talking at the moment during this play. And, um, yeah, we're also going to find out a bit with Mr. Flushman on this part. Maybe not a full extent, but he certainly will be mentioned and shown off here, and uh, we get to see a little bit of the weirdness when it comes to some of the... Uh, uh, stories language, as it were, and uh, we won't know exactly fully what's going on until part three, because I believe that's when it becomes obvious what's going on, but uh, I will save that when we get to there. There's a good explanation of why I feel like what's going on, so yeah. Anyways, if you look very carefully here, you'll probably see a bit of that um, retro-esque looking, like the actual, like this is like real life stuff there. So it's kind of cool to see them kind of like the, the designers are actually really good when it comes to actually bringing something of reference and then making it into the game like that. It's like, wow, it just just brings it in there. Like it's it's amazing. Whoa, the talents that these guys do. So they pay. I hope they get paid good money for this. They should, especially with how much money this thing's making. And yeah, and, and uh, that's one of the big things going on right now with um this game currently with its financial thing but I think they are kind of changing and uh, altering it a little bit slightly but yeah it's it's kind of bizarre but um yeah we're just gonna have Fleshman do his thing for now just have fun and yeah Andy is really much of uh if you got her you basically got yourself uh, a bit of uh, advantage I will say during this update um, one thing I will state here, though, is it is intriguing to me that we kind of come into this, uh, this weird conundrum, as it were. Like, the idea behind this, and I, and part of the problem here when it comes to this particular update is because of the fact that this was the first update being made after the whole being locked away, we can't be in the office, per se, we're working from home. This was the first one that they did this, so... I think what happened was that, and I, I, I can guarantee you for sure, they actually changed some slightly things so that by the time the next update comes around in June, they should have everything back to normal, if not a bit better, because they actually done it in a way so that now it's... Because I'm, I'm sure that at some point it was more or less just talking through um, normally in the office, like, hey, do this thing, and not much when it comes to the documents, but... Now the documents are going to be heavily making sure every detail is listed there. It's like, yeah, do this because, you know, in this current... And that's an interesting thing, the fact that if people are able to still kind of do some of the work, like these kind of games, from home. So, in a way, it's kind of nice that this game is not going to go off. And I know that some people are kind of more... a bit iffy when it comes to the monetization content. And especially since recently... It seems like Snoopy has gotten itself a new style of, um, a new mechanic that is basically familiar if you've played the Adams game. And I'm going to be looking into how much it does monetary-wise because of the whole, well, you know, because it, it, it might be something we see in the game, which I kind of hope they don't. I mean, may, I, I think not so much of this game just because there's so much content they can work with when it comes to the source material versus the other two, which is a little bit limited. But we'll have to wait and see. Also, during this long part, I'm just showing off a bit of characters that's dropping the items needed and as well as um, bringing some of the, the spawns that is needed for the items in particular. I haven't done the actual... Um, the the what do you call it the the old tavern scene but other than that everything else i've been kind of spawning 
And I have to tell you, I kind of despise most of all the spawns being used. I'm going to say this right now. If they're going to be using these spawns for events, they should need to change it, kind of like what they did with the um, novelty shop, by changing it so that it's actually more or less using cash, per se. Uh, I know Spider has it here, but I'll explain why in a minute. Are you sure that's really the strangest thing you've had seen, dude? Mmm, numbers can turn strange too, believe me. <laughs> I do, my friend. Your fingers are lit. That game turned out awesome. We should celebrate. Thanks, doll. Actually, I need to get to look into some bugs we got before our release next week. I... I should probably go check the VHS shop in town and introduce the people meanwhile. You'll know that Grim had a hand when it comes to dialogue because of some name drops coming up. Welcome to Retro Retails. Anything you're looking for? Yeah, um, do you have the Cuddle Bears Save Honey Lane? Oh, Cuddle Bears, eh? That kind of reminds me of a short story. I wonder if you can guess which one that is. Hmm, fun stuff indeed. <laughs> I didn't know you watched the baby stuff there, Johnny boy. Man, Greg is such a Richard. Animate making Spider, well, he's not really animating, he's going into a home again. Uh, making Spider concept art, and then get some stuff. So, normal fanfare, as you can pretty much expect it to see. Now, we're going to go ahead and I believe we're going to get more in-depth with the actual main quest line as well. But, um, it's pretty apparent that when you're looking at, um... I also, I'm just sorry, I'm just drifting off here, but I can't believe they still got us the um, unique item for Fleshman in this game. So, anyways, let's just continue on with the main story here. So, how are you guys doing? How's our tentacle friend doing in there? Hey, Doc. Smooth sailings over here. I was having some issues with the AI core, but I think I got it to stable now. Cool, cool. So let me know if you need any help. It should be like looking at my own code, anyways. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> How about you, Doc? How are you liking this town so far? Well, everyone's excited with all the love we've shown at the Promenade, and excited with your game release, you guys. Especially, I'm eager to see the AI core in action. Why is he talking to himself out loud? He seems like the old cool guy, you know? What's up, my fellow, um, fellow kids? Ah. Uh. Oh man, Spider's cool looking. I bet not even the Masked Mutant can beat him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not Libby. Oh dear, this is gonna come back and haunt him, isn't it? Uh, hey, what did I say? Why is she walking away? Oh, Eric, there you are. Did you hear about the beta test for Spider next week at the Internet Cafe? Oh yeah, I wouldn't miss it. It looks epic. Hey, let's go to the new VHS shop and check out what other cool stuff they got in there. Well, I actually looking to see if they had the Toadinator to run for the night, but it wouldn't hurt to look. Oh, name drop to the Shock Street series, and as well as something else. Get some spider mask, have them do the spider mask thing, and get some spider um, banners. And, uh, yeah, speaking of, um, name-dropping stuff, like I said, you know your old pal Grimm might have a hand when it comes to some of the narratives when the world-building is starting to happen. And what you'll notice is that, um, besides one drop from a certain story, if you were search up what Cuddle Bears are from, uh, it's from a short story, I will say that. And, um, you get the whole world building thing. But the other thing about this is that despite Shock Street, we'll also get a mention of something else. And, um, what I will tell you is that I believe June and August's, um, theme, um, has a bit of an interesting, uh, thing that's going on with there, I believe, um... I, I will be excited to see when that stuff comes into play and have uh, interesting stories to tell, but as far as this one goes, I will say I do like the assist, uh, the aesthetics of the, um, the game's overall theming of the 90s retro going into the cyberspace, man. 
Man, I, you know what, I looked at recently, um, some of those old videos of, like, s internet safety in the 90s kind of deal, and, my god, it's funny because it's like, man, you can do everything on the internet, it's like, mm, yeah, nah, not anymore, <laughs> a lot of stuff's happening, also, there's a weird thing going on with the, um, the internet cafe, there's a rock in the middle of the thing, and, I don't know why that's is being here, but I'll show it off. But anyways, let's talk about uh, the main guy here, Spider, for five bucks. Look how big guy this is. Look at this guy. He's actually kind of cool looking. It would be interesting to have this thing kind of running around, just spooking people, right? Doing this. And you might be wondering why exactly is this uh, character five bucks and then, you know, uh, Mark is exclusive to one character. It was because Rachel, as well as Dr. B, was supposed to be also needed for the sponsoring. Much like how it happened with, um, you know, the, the recent one we had with the junkyard scene. With um, Evan and Cuddles and Trigger. But the problem with that is that Mark and Dr. Brownstein are exclusive to payment. So that means you would only have to have Rachel, which means that you'll have a 30% drop. Which means a lot of people won't be pissed to pay rightfully so pissed off at that so although yeah it's crappy that we still have a 30 percent drop with this one and i still say it is you still have the chance of spending five bucks oh, and uh, they changed the placement for the graffiti scene to be on the mayor's town hall which is nice enough i guess in some cases anyways he's done with that but yeah that's a shame because the actual animation for Spider is cool, but no way am I going to want to spend it so much just because of um Like I'll show it off a lot more in these playthroughs But it's certainly something you don't want to play with and also there is this weird thing here the celebration pack um, This one is your typical buy it multiple times kind of deal and I believe this one was supposed to be kind of like Oh, it's the anniversary. So here you go. It's not as exciting as it was last year, but, um, yeah, you know, the whole virus thing. Oh, yeah, and, uh, welcome back to Slappy's Town, where, uh, this glitch is going on here, like last time, and, uh, it looks even worse. Well, besides the, besides the hotel, the hotel make it works for the hotel over there, but look at it, it's like trees all over the place, and then you get the water puddle on top of, like, like, what is this? Slappy's is a mess. Anyways, they, 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 they fixed it in March, but then just forgot about it for the other months just because of other stuff. I, I, you know, I'm blaming it probably because of the whole um, lockdown that we're going with. And I'm keeping it as vague as possible because YouTube's bots are looking at certain words. And I'm not going to say a certain word because then it will be like, uh oh, mm -mm. we don't want you to advertise for that. Also, you might be wondering with why the rock is on top of the placement there. It's a weird placement bug going on, but the main reason why there's a rock there is because of some clever um, way they're doing some of the animation quests here. And uh, it will be very interesting for how it will work. Also, um, just about around here in this video part, uh, the audio decides to cut out right about now <laughs> so now you're gonna have to hear my voice only unfortunately during this part um we will actually get to see some quest line but for now we're just in silence and you have to hear my voice i might actually put some you know what no screw it i'm yeah so i put some background music on now so uh you're welcome for that the music is gonna go away after this but it's nice to have it in the background to kind of be like so it's not so dead with this long part here so you don't have to deal with my voice but, um, yeah, there's that. Anyways, um, let's just see here. I believe, yeah, so it's going to be a little bit wild. But now we're going to take a look at these two characters here. So this is supposed to be, uh, like, the story is going to tell you what these two are. But these are the web crawlers. They look interesting. They look like octopuses, to be honest with you. At least with spider, you can argue that it's like a spider octopus. But these are, these are just octopuses. Look at them. <laughs> They look interesting too, but the, uh, okay, yeah, but like I said with the Rachel and Mark thing, like, you can tell Rachel was supposed to be the purple one and Mark's the blue one, hence why he's locked behind having him there. And, um, yeah, poor, uh, 
poor uh, <laughs> mask mutant, of course. He's just frozen stiff. Still there, doing that. I love it too when he's when he's scared and then you decide to have him go off. He just runs like just standing still and it's just it's so. Oh man, the game. Some issues need to be addressed, but uh, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I do like the the characters spawns here. It's a shame with the amount of. Uh, how much you need to get in order to get these characters and then the fact you need the AI core for certain items if you're not like here's the thing if you're a premium character like if like me then you're pretty much fine without not having to do this kind of AI core stuff but unfortunately uh, you can't really say the same for people who haven't jumped in or is new to the game because then it's just yeah there's like a lot of stuff you need to get so it's kind of uh, not really a good motive for some people, especially some people who are currently in a financial state of that they cannot support the game. But hey, then 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 this is where I come in, right? People are like, "Man, you know, I don't want to play this game, but uh, I will. I want to watch and see what happens in the story." So I guess that's why I'm kind of growing slowly. People are just in this stint of they want to know what's going on and uh, see. I guess my content because well, to be fair I'm not the only one doing it but as far as the actual effort consistency and showing every nook and cranny I'm basically the only guy who's doing that it used to be KC but I think he just either because he has a lot of stuff going on in his plate or he just kind of died out like some other people but either way he just kind of said that nah not gonna do that no more but, uh, yeah, okay, so we're coming up close to the actual dialogue bit when it comes to Rachel's story, but what I will tell you is, uh, no, it's gonna be the internet one, but regardless, what's interesting about this is this is where, uh, Mr. Fleshman comes in and his, his story kind of evolves in part three, but, oh boy, get ready. Hey guys, anything you're looking in particular? Um, hello, yes, uh... Excuse me, are you Miss Rachel? Um, yes. May I know who's asking? The name's Flushman. Agent Flushman. And I'd like to make you some questions, if you don't mind. Man, English, you have bad grammar, Flushman. Damn, what's the deal around here? Did a guy say Rachel? Isn't one of Spider's devs named Rachel? Yeah, what is the deal, man? Do you not realize who Fleshman is? You just recently, back in November, had to deal with him. Did you forget already? Oh, boy. That's not the, like, the weird part of him just casually forgetting, or maybe he's not paying attention, but... This is the bizarre part coming up right about now. Oh, my God, Rachel. I'm a big fan of Spider. There's a big hype around town towards next week's beta. What is this character development out of nowhere? What is going on with the story? Oh, uh, thanks? Uh, what were those questions you wanted to ask about? Yes, uh, back to business. I will need a copy of software to double check that it follows Hortown's private policy. Oh, okay, that's what you're going with here. Who are you working for? Mm, no one mentioned that before, but I guess. Here you go. Just avoid the spoilers for anyone, please. Yes! Uh, um, I mean, thank you, Miss Rachel. I will get back to you with the approval response. Hey, Mark, some weird suited guy called himself Whoretown's anti-privacy inspector asked me for a beta copy. Do you know anything about this? Nah, Fleshman's a big liar. Like, oh my god, I really like Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, now we're going to need to place the phone booth and the, um... Oh, what was that? <laughs> Why was he like that? That doesn't... It's okay, wow. Um, It, it kind of explains what's going on with Fleshman, but that just came out of nowhere. Like, and it's kind of weird <laughs> the way the language was built, but... Like I stated before, in part three, I believe it's in part three, um, when we're reading the dialogue, the answer becomes obvious when, um, 
we see well we see the wording a bit and and you end up finding out what's going on and then I feel like okay yeah ah uh, I understand now hey look we're back to sound now hooray so there goes the music hope you enjoyed that it lasted as long as it did anyways so it's gonna be a while for me to get the graveyard cape but it wouldn't be too bad I will say though when it comes to and I guess I'm gonna do this in part four with how I've decided to get this cake because I decided to use my bucks unfortunately because I Greg I agree to give you another shot you don't have to be such a jerk <sighs> For your information, it's not for me, it's for my sister. Apparently she wanted to whatever she used to watch, which looks pretty entertaining, actually. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense, L words. No problem, man. Check the family section. You should see some copies there. By the way, Greg, was it? How was that kitty flick you rented yesterday? Oh, snap! She ratted you out, man. <laughs> oh, man. Burned. Don't you love it when you're trying to conversate something and then you just forget that, oh yeah, the dialogue's coming up. Thanks for that, girl. No biggie. Anyways, you have a full week before having to return it back, my dude. Have a good one. Hey, aren't you the new girl in town with the other guy? What was it? Mark? You're making that video game. Yep, that's us. Spider's coming up next week at the end of the cafe. You should stop by. Will do, Rach. No doubt. For a minute there, you forgot what- you didn't even know what her name was, but now you do. Okay. Yeah, logic. Alright, place some servers, or place another server, have her do, um, something and get some viruses, so. Oh yeah, okay, so you see this rock here, right? You're like, okay, where is she going, right? So, what they did was they wanted to make it seem like Rachel here is going to the internet cafe. So what they cleverly did was they made a Pacific rock and decided to hide it behind the um uh, the place right the 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 place she's heading to however for some bizarre reason because the game's a little wonky sometimes uh the rock decided to go over top of the um the building like like what's going on with the tree right here it's like it's making its own rules sometimes like some of the props are like no no i want to be in front stage man so it just goes on top of other items but yeah, because of it, the rock is now on top of the um, the building in a very awkward place. But the idea of it is that she's heading into the into the place. Much like what's going on with um with the mayor, like how she's her spawn thing is in the middle of the um, the fountain area, just to kind of show the idea of her. Yeah, see, so she's, she's at the rock, but as you can see, it was meant to be like she's inside the building, but uh, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> It just looks weird now, but okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Gotta love the fact that there's like blue webbing all over the place. I think it's it's very bizarre. Oh, and uh, here's one of the animation for Mark. We're gonna have another look at this um, in part three when we focus more on his story because he has a lot more animations. But yeah, here's that. Um, let's see here. So we have the virus. I think the virus is pretty easy to grab because of, you know, like, we got five, instead of having normal, we have like five normal items you can grab and they're easy to get. So you end up just kind of crafting all these items just fine. So that's not going to be a problem. I think the problem is when it comes to certain spawns, like the, uh, the, the ones I was referring to before where if you're, you know what, they should change that a bit. Oh, man. Got that. And um, here's our first one, Code Wars. This is for this item here, and you know what? I'm going to get it because I need these. Like, I don't need these things. Um, what you'll notice is that the other ones coming forward, like the next um, update ones, I don't really go after them because they require um, items that I need for that particular time because of um, the grind. 24 days. I love the fact I put that down and then the uh, pop-up comes up to tell me, oh, by the way, this is how much days there's left. A lot of people actually did... I got a lot of comments saying that they enjoyed or uh, liking um, what I did with the the logo, as it were. Because, you know, it was normal Goosebumps Horror Town logo with no real unique version. And uh, I decided to just kind of, you know what, I'm just going to go on to photo... I'm going to go into my Photoshop area and just kind of put 
stuff there, you know. And, um, yeah, so I think in this particular part, I think what I did was, um, I'm gonna get, I think I was gonna get Mark, and I'm gonna have all of them kind of spawn at once, just, just to show you what that looks like. But yeah, we just need the server, and then we'll be done with that. And I believe after we're done with Rachel's stuff, we will be done, period. So before then, let's go ahead and uh, get Mark to be done with this animation. Yep. He's, he's, I don't know why he's so slow, by the way. But anyways, we're going to have both of these guys summon. Oh, hey, so I'm going to do all these two then. Instead of um, having all three. I think I did at one point. I don't know what part it was, but I did do all three, I believe, in the in the quick kind of link wise. And um, what I've noticed with the story is that um, we've kind of, um, when I was talking to the guy, we're doing this world building thing where we're kind of hinting at what's leading to the next thing. So in this particular instance, the last one, it kind of hinted at um, well, Curly coming to the game, but that didn't happen, unfortunately. I don't know if it is gonna happen, but maybe I'm blaming I'm blaming the sickness. That's what I'm going with right now. But they did mention something about spiders, and I guess this got in here, so you could see that. But what I can tell you is that the last part to this quest, there is going to be a uh, an actual hint at who what is coming up, and uh, needless to say, it will be very interesting as far as um, content is concerned. And, uh, yeah, it's a, I guess one of the things, too, about these videos is that, um, they're a little bit longer than others. Normally, I've, like, I'm gonna take KC's Loves Gaming, for example. He kind of does a video that's, like, within ten minutes long. Yeah, I make hour-long videos sometimes. I try to, try to do it within thirty minutes, at least, but, you know, sometimes I like to make it so that it's evenly out. So I think these videos are going to be like 40 minutes each. So, I don't know. For some people, I think that's... Some people are going to enjoy the watch. And, um... It will be interesting, though, coming up next... Uh... Excuse me. Do you happen to already have the cool new game being advertised? Hey! You're Rachel! I'm a big fan of Spider. He just... He just started to come out. How are you a fan? Hey, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I hope you like next week's beta. See you there. Dustin, was that Rachel? As in, Rachel and Mark? Spider Rachel? Oh. My. God. I'm surprised there's no OMGs. Psst. Hey. You two. Uh, uh, us? Here. This is a spider demo. Don't tell anyone I gave you this. It may have some bugs or glitches, but hey. You can still ease the hype. Why is she doing that? Like, like, okay, I, I okay, the, the story narrative, we need a MacGuffin, okay, I get that part. But why these two randos? Right? Eric! Dustin, do you believe what's going on? We are playing Spider before anyone in the world does, and the discs have been touched by THE Rachel! Okay, let's hold our horses, we need to work on the setup. Yeah, you're right, but hey, I got an idea. Hey, this must stay between us. I mean it. Why did you give it to these kids anyways? I know plot device, but still, it's just... Right, so now please, uh, phone booth, get some sticky cobweb slide thing, and then have her do an animation. Her only animation she got out of all the quests she has, this is the only animation she has, and it copies marks in the same way. But what's interesting about this whole... Thing. This is going to be our last quest, by the way. So, it kind of sets up the story of what's going on in the background. And I do like how everything kind of comes together slightly. Though, I think in my review, I will be talking a little bit more about uh, some of the problems with this update. Which, there are some problems. And, uh, although, I wouldn't say I, I really despise or hate this update. There's a lot of things that could have been done better. That's that's for sure, right? So anyways, we're gonna have her go up to there and she should be there because, you know, m magic. Yeah, so she's gonna be up here. Yeah, magic, right? So let's take a quick look. So this is her animation of um, calling the phone. I did like how they kind of did this to make it look like she's actually... 
You know, and these, this kind of reminds me of a scene from a movie. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. It kind of reminds me of something about, I can't say, but I think it was something to do with people, with computers, and I know it was in the 90s, and the guy who, who plays a Shaggy is in there. Huh, mm. No, I can't think of it right now. Maybe, I, maybe by part three, I'll probably it'll hit me in the head. But um, or maybe people in the comments already know what's going on. And uh, yeah, I've been having fun too with doing these premieres. By the way, with some of these videos. And um, what I will tell you is that it will be very intriguing. Oh yeah, and I think no, this is not it again. Pfft, I figured this would be the. It. I thought this would be the one that I linked, but no, no, not now. Yeah, but um, it will be interesting because after um, the week I'm recording this type of thing, so that would be next, last week kind of deal, right? Um, I will be moving to a new kind of um, work schedule in I IRL, and uh, this will cause me to have one week having less day to do anything while well, one week is a little bit more, but um, it's going to be weird to kind of justify, like, to change that. I will try to still keep consistency with trying to do Monday stuff but um, it will be it will be a bit of a challenge to try to get everything going so just bear with me on this I think though the next week video coming up will be fine I think it's gonna have an effect in June though I think June will be when you'll start to see maybe something going on but I can't say for certain as of yet but yeah just keep an eye out that's all I will say all right so Oh yeah, and I'm slowly trying to um, build my, uh, like you're looking at me doing the treasure dealer. I'm trying to get those stupid compasses because I need them bad, right? For, for one particular reason, right? To try to get more land, which is expensive. And I get it, it's trying to keep us busy. It's, 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 it's gotta be hard because you're gonna have to try to do a balancing act with what can and cannot be done. And, uh, yeah, so, a bunch of that stuff. You know, it's getting closer to the end, so don't worry. We're almost done with this. We're almost there. Right, so, we're gonna have her do this for a little bit. And, uh, I will place the last webbing thing when she's done, just to make sure that I got everything recorded. And, um, yeah, I still need to get the AI core, which will happen in this update this video unfortunately but it will happen in part three but uh let's finish off uh rachel's quest shall we hey salma it's your boy eric calling for an emergency what is it four eyes man that's not a nice thing to say what's up what's up with you are you mad because it's been a year since we saw you last time <laughs> hello sorry to bother you but my boy dustin and i need some hardware help Funny you mention hardware these days. We're happy to break into the internet cafe tomorrow night for an epic LAN party. Just so you know, that basically stands for a local area network, so it's just a multiplayer online within the same group. Eric, that's a cue. You'll see us there. And that's it. Spider's Birth has been done. So part one of the chapters has been done, so we're going to move on to chapter two, which is going to have Mark in it. Which, uh, surprise, surprise, we got right here. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go over here get this hooray. We're done four parts only so we got that move on to the next one There's five it's the next parts are gonna be a little bit wonky as you will see and I think like I said I blame it on the fact that no one's working in the office that they're doing it remote so Be interesting, but uh, that'll be it for now, but before I end it. Uh, I want to show you this This happened for some reason the roads glitched out Don't worry the game's not like like it's broken here but don't worry nothing's got lost but this weird thing happened out of nowhere i was playing my game and then immediately it just disappeared out of nowhere but that's about it so yeah i'm gonna end it off here because i think you've heard my voice a little bit too long now and uh, i have nothing funny to add near the end but yeah, i hope this part two was interesting enough for you to keep your eyes on but uh next part part three we'll be looking more into what's going on with the internet and uh if dustin and eric goes plays this game and what might happen and then as well as a bit of who mark is and 
his coding skills and what he has to do with Spider and all the mysteries of what's going on, right? Like what what's going on with uh, Mr. Fleshman? Why is he involved? What what's what's the deal with the Doctor, right? What what is his role in all this? We won't know until part three at least. So until then, I've been Grim, and I'll be seeing you next time for whatever Goosebumps Horror Town has for us in store. Until then, remember, we all came from the internet.